peacemaking gives you the opportunity to understand that whatever you did, whatever brought you here to this table was not just about you, it was about a whole community. Peacemaking resolves cases that really shouldn't be resolved with in jail or out of jail, but should be resolved between the two parties. Many parties who used to be friends all of a sudden having difficulties that ended up before a criminal court. It's not a criminal court case, it's really a case that needs to be resolved in the community. The goal of, of this is, is not to punish people, it's, it's to mm -hmm. restore relationships, it's to build community. I think the, the area of responsibility when you're in court lies totally on the criminal. But when we're in peacemaking, it's not just their responsibility that they did this crime, it's our responsibility to do something different, to help them do something different. Ellos estaban jugando aquí en el pasillo, golpearon mucho la puerta, mi niño estaba durmiendo, mi esposo recién había venido del trabajo, entonces él se molestó porque tanto golpeaban la puerta. Entonces como el niño estaba durmiendo, vino él, salió y le escogió la pelota. Hubo conflicto día a día y se aperó las cosas, ahí hubo conflictos entre los esposos, pasó muchas cosas graves, para mí fue graves y hasta que fuimos presas. Ves que somos vecinas de frente a frente, entonces digo, de una u otra manera siempre los vamos a topar. The process of peacemaking is uh, determined by the participants and the peacemakers. For Liliana and Rosa, it took them three sessions over the course of six weeks to be able to go from not speaking to each other and very tense to unburdening what was going on in their own lives, seeing the other person, and by the third session, making apologies and making promises to each other about what should happen in a future conflict. It reminded me of every time I've ever been in a, you know, you know, a fight with someone that I cared about. And it's just this, all the pride in there that says, I'm not gonna be the one who, it's your fault. And, but uh, it didn't take very long for um, them to get to a place where they were at least able to say, I want this to work. Our peacemakers are trained to do a lot of listening and a lot of storytelling and ways in which they've overcome their own barriers and their own obstacles. So I tell some stories. I tell actual stories, you know, and I tell them that, hey, you can succeed at this. I'm 62 years old, so I have a lot of experience. And I don't mind sharing that experience because we're all flawed. We all make mistakes, but we recover from those mistakes. So as long as I have this talking piece, um, everyone has to listen to what I'm saying. I can't be interrupted. And until I feel like I'm done speaking, then I can pass the talking piece. Sometimes you just need to listen to people. It's not about what you should say to them. It's just about listening. When we were planning the Red Hook Peacemaking Program, our staff went out and interviewed many different Native American communities that are currently practicing peacemaking and we visited them to observe them to see how they are in actual practice. This was an opportunity for us to learn from the Native American tradition how peacemaking can work to better resolve these cases. How do you mix two forms of justice? such as Anglo and Native, you don't. <laughs> you have, but you accept that they're different. They are different, very. And both has its positives and its negatives. And you have to understand that. People are very receptive to it and appreciate that it comes from this whole different paradigm of, of, of practicing justice. I think one of the peacemakers said, like, well, it's, it's about time, you know, it's like, it's been only 500 years before you guys figured it out that you have stuff to learn from us. You're putting yourself out to help somebody that needs your help? I do have a crazy anger problem. I'm not gonna lie about that, but it's under control. And being here with them, with the peacemakers, it's helping me get it even more under control, so. Uh, being a peacemaker has helped me be a better man, make better choices in my life. Es algo como que ayuda a calmar el problema. Y esa base fue algo para mí que me quedó como una experiencia para 
para no volver a estos conflictos, como concordamos con la señora, si hay algo hablarnos, decirnos, y, y es algo lindo porque es lo mejor que se puede solucionar, ¿no? I personally feel that the Red Hook uh, peacemaking program was long overdue. It brought back some pride to the community and the people who participate in it feel they are really part of the process and they're making the defendants feel like they are part of the community also once again.